you can count on. Verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter, find the defendant, Wayne Paul Bergarello, not guilty. The trial for Wayne Bergarello is over. After about six hours of deliberating tonight, a jury has reached its decision. Now, the jury declared Wayne Bergarello not guilty on all charges, including murder and attempted murder. Now, this stems from a shooting at his vacant duplex in February of 2014. Amanda Ketchlett is in the courtroom tonight when the verdict was read and is live with more. Amanda? There was a mix of emotions in the courtroom once the verdict was read today and the jury had to decide whether Bergarello was guilty of first or second degree murder for the fatal shooting of 34 year old Cody Devine. And they also had to decide if he was guilty of attempted murder for seriously injuring 29 year old Janae Wilson. And the decision came in just about two hours ago and that was not guilty on all counts. After looking at all the case facts and going through our own investigation, we knew that this was justified homicide. And he found himself in a threatening situation and that he did what he had to do to protect his own life. Back in February of last year, Bergarello went to his vacant home in Sparks after receiving a call about squatters on his property. He confessed in the trial that he did shoot both individuals, but he claimed that it was in self-defense. Bergarello's attorney, Teresa Ristenpart, acknowledged his poor eyesight for mistaking a handgun in the dark. The threat is the arm coming up, the movement, and something in his hand, which we later knew to be a flashlight underneath his body. But the assistant district attorney, Bruce Hahn, said Bergarello had plenty of time to think about his intentions, 25 minutes to be exact. Hahn says that Bergarello didn't magically have guns appear and that it was premeditated. Now, we also tried talking with the Divine family and the prosecution, but they weren't available for com comment. Covering the story, Amanda Kachilich, Channel 2 News.